So if you want to avoid uh, a delay, or at least not knowing about a delay and getting to the airport and then finding out about a delay, one way is to kind of keep aware of your flight before you actually go to the airport, or at least have a better idea if it's going to be delayed or if it, in fact, just is delayed and you haven't been alerted by, by your airline. So I have entered my flight here, uh, Alaska Airlines 2118, and it doesn't depart for five hours and 48 minutes. So right now it's on time for 9.34. However, it could get delayed in the next five hours and 48 minutes. Now you don't, without being a customer of Flight Aware, I don't, a paid customer, I can't see the tail numbers, but I still have the option to where is my plane now. So it's going to be Horizon Flight 2081, so the flight changes, but it's kind of the same. And it's going from Boise to Seattle. So I can see that my plane is going to come from Boise and then go back to Boise. Kind of just ping-pongs throughout the day. That's a 6.45 flight, um, 7 p.m. So it'll be there for two hours, which is kind of a long time, it seems, for a plane to be not moving. But I don't plan these things. Anyway, so uh, I can also check where is my plane now again. And now I can see the actual uh, location is in Seattle right now. So it's funny. It's in Seattle, going to Boise, back, and then to Boise. So ping pong, um, 343. So as long as all these are on time, um, there's a pretty good chance that it's going to stay on time unless something happens. And, of course, every time there's a flight, something could happen, late passengers. Um, yeah, little things that make it delayed. Uh, especially on a day like today, where there's been some flight delays all over the place. So this is just one way to get a better idea of your flight before you actually get to the airport, or at least to know what to expect, maybe go to the lounge or whatever. Anyway, hope that helps. Cheers.